Hello and welcome back everyone. This has been a long time coming. Um, thanks for waiting until this haul was able to happen because I have been um, just not, not my best self lately. Just been sick and going through a couple of health things. I talked about this in Aldi, in my Aldi haul and um, just wanted to mention it here. So Anyways, I might not have the energy that I normally have, um, and also I do want to do a taste test, but I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon, but you never know. Um, I'm feeling better every day, so let's get into this week's Trader Joe's haul. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and let's see what we got. So I mentioned this in my Aldi haul as well, but I'm going to be trying to buy more whole foods, less processed foods, but you will see all of the new items still in my Trader Joe's hauls and um, in my Aldi hauls, and I'm still going to be doing taste tests with all those items. So before you jump and be like, that's processed, it's because this is part of the job, and part of the job is to try and show you guys all the new foods, so um, you'll still see all that stuff. And I still want to show you guys all the new items, regardless of them being processed or not. Um, that's just part of my job. So um, now that I've got that out of the way, I'm going to share with you guys everything that I found this week. Um, I'm going to start here with the things that my husband grabbed. He got some pepperoni. Of course, he got the chicken sausage breakfast burrito. He also grabbed some mozzarella cheese because he makes his little pizzas. Um, this is a brand new one. This is the lemon flour cookies. Now this is an example of something that we would try in the taste test. Not something I necessarily pick up on my own, but I do want to give you guys a well-rounded review. And so this would be in the taste test whenever that happens. Um, I did have my uh, friend who said that he was expecting them to be more lemon forward and he was kind of disappointed because he said they just weren't very lemon flavored so um if you are going to buy them before we do the taste test just keep that in mind that's something that he had mentioned so these are new you can freeze these by the way they come in frozen at trader joe's so if you want to freeze them um because there's a lot of cookies in here uh you can do that i also saw that they have some new pastas this is a different brand i don't know if this is just supplemental in the meantime before they get their other pastas back or if this is a new line but they never had um they haven't had rigatoni in years and so they have this this now they have the cavatappi they had um shells as well so this is a brand that i haven't seen before so i wanted to pick those up to share with you guys that Trader Joe's is now carrying um, this product. And I'm again, I'm not sure if it's going to be like forever or if this is just like a supplemental until they get their normal pastas back in stock. Um, Tim also wanted to get some soft and juicy mandarins as well as the green mango. So he grabbed those. Got some Swiss cheese for sandwiches. I grabbed this block of Parmesan and the Cotija because I'm making fresh... Um, sauces and I'm going to be doing a uh, pesto sauce uh, my son loves it and he's been requesting it for like a month now so I got stuff for, to make fresh pesto and then I'm also going to make that um, the what is it called the Aji sauce or something like that that I made in another video and I showed you guys uh, Tim loves that sauce so I got more of the Cotija because we ran out of that so that's what those are for this is the um, cheese of the month. This is the Ivy's Reserve Somerset Red Cheese. It says it's rich and creamy, tangy, nutty, mellow, and Moorish. Um, it's made in Great in Britain. So um, I am excited to try this. So we'll be trying this in the taste test. Whenever that is, again, I don't want to promise anything because I just don't know. But here's the back in case you guys were curious it does have microbial enzymes it says suitable for vegetarians right there which is amazing and I'm really happy about that so I'm um, curious to see how this cheese is going to taste now this is a brand new product this is the dried Australian red papaya unsweetened and unsulfured and it has that really deep color so you can see in the little window um, again we'll try this in the taste test I'm really not a big fan of papaya 
uh, but I haven't had it dried before, so maybe I'll like it better dried. I'm not sure, but papaya just isn't something that I'm a big fan of. Um, but we'll see, you know, you never know until you try something, right? So this is brand new. These look amazing. These are called strawberry tomatoes. And I think because they obviously resemble strawberries, um, beautiful color. These just look gorgeous. I cannot wait to bite into one of these tomatoes. They look so fresh and it's just giving me summer and it's just really pretty so I'm excited to try these um and I hadn't seen these before ever at Trader Joe's so I'm excited to, to try them this these say they're greenhouse grown so they don't say organic but if they're greenhouse grown correct me if I'm wrong do they have to use as many pesticides I'm hoping not so that's cool um got some more garlic we've been going through garlic like nobody's business got a pack of sprinkles teeny tiny tomatoes Got the clamshell of basil. Like I said, I'm making pesto, so um, my basil in my garden obviously isn't growing yet. So I got this beautiful big clamshell of the fresh basil. Um, I have to go buy a basil plant and plant it, but it's been really weird weather in California, Southern California. It's been like raining, and then it was like 87 the other day, and today it's 62. <laughs> I don't know. My garden is not ready for plants yet, so that's... That will come soon though, so I grabbed those. I also got some jalapenos. That's again for um, a couple recipes that I have in plans for, so I grabbed those. Um, got some organic red butter lettuce just to make some salads. This this lettuce just looked so good and fresh um, that I, I don't know, it called to me, so I grabbed it. Uh, Tim got some more lobster bisque because he loves this lobster bisque. I got these organic tomato, or tomatoes, potatoes. I'm going to make, I don't know what I'm going to make with these yet, but I've been craving potatoes and these are always like my go-to. I love these. They're so simple. I usually air fry them and toss them in like, I'll, to I'll cut them in fourths, toss them in a little olive oil and whatever seasoning I feel like for that day. And then I'll air fry them and they come out nice and crispy and delicious. And it's just so simple. So and that's probably what I'm going to do with these, but I don't know. Maybe I'll look for a recipe and try something different. Um, also got some coconut water because it just sounded really good. And a very green juice smoothie. Um, juice liquids right now just sound really good to me. So I've been, you know, trying to get some more um, liquids in me. So again, got some alkaline water. Um, I've been drinking tons of water lately. This water just tastes really good and it encourages me to drink more. So that's why I grabbed them. They're not necessary. I mean, I have a water filter at home. I drink a lot of water from home, but for some reason having them, um, like be alkaline and they have the electrolytes, they just, it just tastes so clean and fresh. And I can chug a bottle of this water in like half a day and it's great. So like I said, anything to encourage my water intake right now, um, I will, <laughs> I will do that. I uh, also got some more Olio Olio seasoning because um, I live for this stuff. This is like my favorite seasoning that Trader Joe's sells right now. Uh, sparkling strawberries for the boys. This is a brand new olive oil. This is a Cal Pressed Organic Extra Virgin Olive Oil. It's from California and it's, it says first cold press So and it's a small batch. I thought I would give it a try. Um, I was actually in the market for some olive oil, so I'm excited to try this one. It sounds good, and it's from California where I live, so, you know, why not? It says that it is a fall 2023 harvest limited reserve. It's probably a pretty good olive oil. I'm I'm willing to bet it's a good one, so it's, it, that's really exciting. New olive oil is kind of doesn't come in at Trader Joe's very often, so when it does, I wanted to pick one up. This is brand new, and I've been seeing this floating around, and it sounds so good. It's a bake-at-home organic garlic bread. Um, it's a split loaf, and it comes in like the traditional um, bag, but then when you open it, it's in a plastic airtight seal, so um, you can easily heat this up in the oven, and then you have garlic bread for dinner. So I do wanna try this in the taste test um, and let you guys know how it is. I'm assuming it's gonna be phenomenal. 
um, because, I mean, it's garlic bread. Why? Garlic bread's delicious. So that is something that um, hopefully we'll be able to do a taste test soon because I really want to share with you guys all these new things that we haven't tried yet. So fingers crossed that I feel well enough to be doing a taste test soon because I just really want to. I miss it. Um, I've been having like the most apple cravings ever. So I got two different types of apples. I got the Cosmic Crisp apples and then I got these, I think these are the, they're not pinata. I don't know. They, for some reason they don't say what they are on here. Um, and I don't remember. Wait, this is, no, I don't know. I don't know what the kind of apple it is. <laughs> Um, uh, it says extra fancy pinata. They are pinata apples. Okay. So these are the pinata apples. Sorry. My brain really hasn't been working as well either. You guys, I'm really sorry. Um, but yeah, apples have been giving me life lately. I've been having at least one apple a day. So I picked up both of these bags just to have some on hand. Cause we've been going through them. Benson has been loving them too. So, you know, we've all been eating apples. Um, okay, so the ube pretzels are back in, as well as the ube pancake mix, the ube cookies, the little balls. The ube covered Jojo's are also back in. Basically, all the ube flavored stuff is in right now for the season at Trader Joe's. Um, Tim wanted the pretzels, so we grabbed those for him. And yeah, if you guys like the ube flavor, it's, it's all the rage right now. At my Trader Joe's, there was an entire display that was basically ube everything. So if you're looking for that, it is now at Trader Joe's. So get it while it's there. Um, I wasn't going to pick these up, but Tim wanted to get them. These are the Cheesecake Inspired Truffle Collection. Uh, these are like the spring ones. So if you like truffles, chocolate truffles, um, these are available right now. These are seasonal, so you got to get them while they're around. Also, got a new coffee in, a small lot coffee. This is the light to medium roast, which I love um, because that has a little bit more caffeine. And it's the Ethiopia Guji. So, I don't know. This looks, I really like the packaging. I'm always down to try some new coffee. So, this one looks really good and I'm excited to try it. So, I, I don't know. Trader Joe's has new small lot coffees like almost every month. So it's nice to try something new. Now to the last two things, which are for dogs. So I got my dogs the peanut butter flavor retriever sticks, but then there's a new dog treat in town and it's the nothing but sweet potato dog treats. And they're quite literally just wedges of sweet potato that look like they've been dried out. So my dogs will probably love these. We'll see. I can include them in the taste test whenever that happens and see if they like them. But this is the back in case you wanted to see what they look like. <laughs> That's funny. They made a dog out of the sweet potato. All right. So that is the haul for this week. Thank you guys for being patient with me and understanding. Um, I promise I will be back <laughs> better than ever, hopefully, by next week. And I'll be back to myself. I know that it, my energy levels are very low right now. Um, and I'm doing my best to get a video out for you guys because... I know that you've all been waiting and I, um, yeah, I'm just thankful that you all are supporting me and still watching my channel and thank you for giving these, these videos thumbs up and commenting and, um, subscribing all those things. I really appreciate you all for doing that and I look forward to taking time to film a taste test and it's hopefully it's sooner than later, but thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.